Welcome back to the Panthers.com video mailbag presented by Cinta. Staff writer Max Henson here answering your questions ahead of Thursday night football's matchup against the Philadelphia Eagles here at Bank of America Stadium. We've got our first question from Fastback who says, what has been the key to Cam Newton's great play of late? More confidence? Is he practicing different? Well, I mean, first let's talk about Cam Newton's great play of late. He's got 300 yards and three touchdowns in two consecutive games. He's never done that before in his career. So you're talking about a stretch of play for Cam Newton that has been wildly successful. And you factor in the fact that this is coming off of what we saw in the beginning of the season, about the shoulder surgery, needing to build back the strength in the arm, not having a lot of time to practice. And then all of a sudden, in that New England game, and then following up in Detroit, we've seen Cam Newton look like Cam Newton again, look like the 2015 version of Cam Newton, the MVP version of Cam Newton. And not to get too far ahead of ourselves, let's go back to the question, what's been the difference? Well, I think obviously, as you mentioned, the practice time has been huge for him, just being able to be out there more consistently and be more involved instead of having to limit him because of soreness. Obviously, the more reps he gets during the week, the better he's been able to play. That, that's been proven pretty clearly. And I also think you have to look at the guys around him that are helping raise his level of play. Look at what he's gotten from the wide receivers the last couple weeks. Kelvin Benjamin, Devin Funches have played so big, and that's been huge for this entire offense. They're making plays for their quarterback when he needs them. And I think that offensive line, like I know Cam's taken some sacks, and some of them he would put on himself, some of them because of his scrambling and trying to extend plays are, are going to result in a sack here and there. But by and large, I think he's gotten the protection he's needed to deliver on some of these deep passes. And, and I think he's trusting what's in front of him as far as his protection, and that's allowing him to pile up the numbers we've seen. Got our next question from Martin Solario, who says, with the Eagles being second in rush defense and the Panthers struggling the last couple weeks running the ball, how do they get the run game going? That is a great question, and it's an important one for this Panthers offense. Brown Rivera made it pretty clear he's disappointed with the run game right now. It's always been a hallmark of this team and this offense. They want to set the tone running the football first. And the past couple weeks, they've leaned very, very heavily on Cam Newton's arm. It's worked. They've gotten wins on the road against really good teams, but this team's formula for success has always been running the football, and they don't want to stray from that. As you mentioned, against th the Eagles on Thursday night, this is going to be a tough challenge because the Eagles are very, very good against the run. They've got Fletcher Cox back in the middle of that defensive line. It's going to be tough sledding in there, but they've got to find a way to do it. I don't have anything earth-shattering to say as far as how you get that done. It pretty much comes down to executing blocks and sticking with it. I mean, the winning in the trenches, winning on the ground, takes effort and execution. And that's really the bottom line. You can't dress it up too much. Maybe the Panthers can do a better job of getting things out on the perimeter and trying to stretch that defense a little bit to kind of clear some space in the middle. But for bottom line, you want to run the ball. They know you want to run the ball, and it's a battle of will. And I think the Panthers want to see that line get a little more push to create some more room for those running backs. We've got our last question from Tanner Hanger, who asked, when will we see Curtis Samuel step up and fill the shoes of the Ted Ginn role of the past few years? We've been waiting for that, really, and you've seen only a bit of glimpses of him kind of filling that Ted Ginn role, which the Panthers talked about Curtis Samuel doing ever since they drafted him in the second round. I mean, that reverse against New Orleans was a great example of something Ted Ginn would have done in the past that they had Curtis Samuel doing, and they both obviously have tremendous speed. Those are the kind of guys you want to get their ball in their hands, give them some space to run, and, and they can make it a, a huge play. We saw that, but you haven't seen those deep routes that you saw Ted Ginn running in the past from Curtis Samuel. And I think that's just a, a factor of him not being completely healthy throughout training camp in the preseason. He's had to work his way back to 100%. Not even sure he's quite there yet. It's a point where he could really open it up and really test the secondary. But I think you give it a little bit more time. And at some point during this season, you're going to see Curtis Samuel run one of those deep out routes and get behind the secondary for a big play. You know he's got it in him. It's just a matter of getting healthy and the offense feeling that they can trust him to go out there and do the job. Well, that's the question this week, everybody. Do it again next time right here on Panthers.com.